our job is not necessarily to get at the truth. Our job is to be there as a protector of a person accused of a crime who's presumed to be innocent to ensure that the government, the power of the state, does not oppress that person and is bound and held to their requirement of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. And so we have a very particular role. When you're the role of the defense lawyer, your job is to not doubt your client in a, in a principled way. One thing that's forgotten is, is that every accused person is, is entitled to zealous advocacy within the confines of ethics and the law. And when the process works the way it works, we all have an obligation to respect that process. Even if we disagree, we have an obligation because any one of us could be charged at any moment with a criminal offense and be innocent. And then we think, oh my God, what did I do up to that point? Now I need a zealous defense and I can't have one. We always have to be mindful of that. I think it's a, a scary, slippery slope. Canada really is, in the criminal justice system, a kinder, gentler nation. I think we should be proud of that. I think our system is a very impressive system, um, and especially when we have the notions of the presumption of innocence and proof beyond a reasonable doubt, and when everyone respects those principles, um, I, I think the system works wonderfully and beautifully. It's when we start forgetting all of those parts uh, that are supposed to work that I think the accused is no longer getting a fair trial, and that's when there's a problem. When it comes to, you know, Dealing with things as a, as a woman criminal defense lawyer, all I say to women who want to be criminal defense lawyers is you do the best you can to forget that you're a woman and you just be a defense lawyer.